Hi everyone, this is Chinmay from Informatica GCS and in this video, I shall be demonstrating the steps to pass PPT files using the data processor transformation. So the agenda of this video is as follows. Firstly, I will be talking about the preprocessor that needs to be used to pass PPT files. Then I will explain some configurations that need to be made such as some Java variables that need to be set so that this preprocessor can run successfully. And then I will be demonstrating how to create a data processor using the preprocessor to pass a sample PPT file. So the preprocessor that is required to pass PPT files is called PowerPoint TextML preprocessor. This converts Microsoft PowerPoint presentation to a schema called as the TextML. Uh, you can refer to the link here for more information on this schema. One of the limitations of this preprocessor is that it can pass only .ppt files. The latest .pptx files cannot be passed using this preprocessor. As this preprocessor uses the Java environment, we will require to configure a few Java environment variables before we use this preprocessor, which is the Java home environment variable. It should be pointing to infra home slash Java. JRE home, which should be pointing to infra home slash Java slash JRE. And finally, the path environment variable, which should have the Java home prepended to it. So these variables need to be set both on the client side as well as the server side. So this is the sample PPT file that we will be passing today. It has a title, a subtitle and another slide which has some content in it. Okay, so we have a developer client open here. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a data processor transformation. So here you'll be selecting the create a blank data processor transformation and click on finish. Next, we go to the objects tab and we will be creating the script which is going to pass our PPT file. You'll be selecting parser. Here you don't have to add any schema object and here we will be selecting our test file. This is our test PPT file which I just showed you and click on finish. Alright, so a script like this will be created. Now we'll have to make a few modifications to the script so that we are able to pass our PPT file. First thing, under this example source, you are going to be specifying the preprocessor, which is PowerPoint to text ML. Next, I'm going to create a variable called temp, which is going to hold all the content of my PPT file. Then I create a content marker here. Basically what I'm doing is I'm copying all of this PPT content and I'll store it in my variable called temp. And once I've stored it here, I will just directly write it to my output file. Here the input is temp and the output will be you can use the output file option and specify any path on your system where it can be stored. So I'm just going to store it in my desktop and call it ppt underscore output dot xml. So you save this. And if you can see here, this is the entire content which is stored in my temp variable and this is exactly what will be written to my target file. So we will just run this data processor. So this is what our output is going to look like. This is the same thing which you can see here. It is the exact same content. I have just written it to a temporary variable and written it to a file. When we use it in a mapping and run it, 
this is what the output will look like. You can further pass it if you want to convert it to relational or JSON or any other format. You can just use another data processor and further pass it. Here are some useful links which contain more information about the text ML schema, which is the output format of the preprocessor. We would love to hear from you. Uh, your valuable feedback will help us uh, create better content for our videos. So that's the end of this video. Thank you.